Thank you all for attending. Today, we want to continue our hot topic demos of Broom by Plus. We previously covered shopping and the checkout processes. Today, we'll show you how to look up orders and see their status, including invoice payment status. I'm John Tan, your friendly neighborhood procurement excellence analyst. Uh, let's jump into it. Looking up a status in Broom by Plus. After logging in with single sign-on, you will arrive at the Broom by Plus homepage. To do a status lookup, click on Reporting. The reporting screen allows you to view all purchase orders, invoices, and open requisitions in departments you have access to. Let's start by taking a look at purchase orders. To search purchase orders, you can click either the total purchase orders on the upper left of the screen or the approximate total amount. Both will take you to the purchase orders page. You can also get to the same screen by navigating to the order tab in the left navigation and selecting the purchase order option under search. There are various ways to narrow your search. The first is quick filters. From here, you can filter by vendor, PO status, home department, PO owner, invoice status, and more. As an example, let's find all the purchase orders that were created for a vendor named Quartzy. Now you can see all the Quartzy POs that were created. Another way to refine your search is by using the filter option at the top of the page. You can see a few dozen different filter options here. You can see that the vendor filter is active from your quick filters. You can narrow your search by a variety of options. For today, let's narrow our Quartzy purchase orders further by only showing POs that have been partially invoiced. If this is a report that you'll use frequently, you can save this report by clicking Save As at the top right of the screen. You can also use the pin filters options to make this your default search layout. Finally, you can export search results to Excel at any time. Now that we've narrowed down our search, let's take a look at a PO in closer detail. To do that, we'll just simply click on one of these PO numbers. The purchase order opens on the status page. General information covers PO details like the order number, vendor name, dates and totals, as well as information about the order owner. The document status section contains a lot of the information that previously required an email to accounts payable such as the AP status, workflow status, and how and when the PO was delivered to the vendor. There are also links to any and all related documents to the PO, such as the requisition and the invoice. By clicking the requisition link, you can view the original request. This should look familiar as it's the same screen used to create the order. From here, you can easily navigate back to the invoice or the PO. You can also view invoice information by clicking the invoice header. You can view the voucher number, vendor invoice number, invoice date, due dates, and totals. To see more details, click on the voucher number. The invoice and payment information section includes information about the pay status and due date for the invoice. Status of payable means that the invoice has been approved to pay through the invoice workflow. Once the invoice has been paid in PAC, the status will change to paid and the payment information will be populated. If the status is in process, then the invoice is not out of approvals yet. This information has a status of paid, so it has been processed for payment in PAC and references the payment information such as payment method, payment record number, and payment record date. Finally, let's see how comments can be entered and stored. This removes the need to email AP for information and status requests. In this section, all comments made by anyone involved with the document can be seen by the entire team. You can see here an AP user has asked a question. In it, it says there is a higher unit price on the invoice compared to the PO. Please review and adjust the pricing in order to pay the invoice. Clicking the reply button will allow you to post the answer. This way, all of AP can see the thread and review and approve much faster without having to dig through emails or other documentation. In the show comments dropdown, 
you can select to show comments just from the invoice or any other associated document. And that's it. You now know how to look up and search a status in the new Broom by Plus. To learn more about Broom by Plus and the Ascend 2.0 project, please visit ascend.ucla.edu. Thank you.